What up? Welcome to the Sperm Donor Show. I'm Savvy Jinx sitting alongside Painter. Jin Jiao Hui Li. And Twig is out with some sort of contagious stomach flu virus. Oh, crazy. I think he was out with a hot guy or something. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's just his excuse to be sick. Now he's out. He's contagious. I don't want to catch the flu. I know you don't want to catch the flu. So no, it's just me and you holding down the fort. So what's up, man? How was Christmas? Uh, Christmas was a. Uh Quite all right. I mean, you know, just the usual shit. It's always good to see family, family yeah. members you don't see during the course of the year. No doubt. You know, but, uh, you know, Christmas came and went. Just looking forward to New Year's. So that's a good thing. You know, Twig didn't come. No offense. Uh, I don't want to be sick for New Year's. I haven't been off for nah. three years. I've The last three years, I've been at the restaurant at the mm. midnight hour. And it's just like, it's the saddest thing, man. I'm, they might as well play violins because it's fucking Is that a money making day, though? Oh, it's uh, the money's there, but okay. I mean, come on, money's not everything. You'll trade that in for <laughs> one you know, New Year's Eve off, right? Right. The last New Year's Eve off I saw was two thousand two thousand six, and uh, you know that one was that one was it was an okay New Year's Eve. Uh, I think my favorite was two thousand four. I was down in Hermosa Beach. Uh-huh. You know, I had a girlfriend, but she went to New York at the time, so you know, I went out mm-hmm. drinking Long Island iced teas uh, just to you're celebrate. Just asking for a hangover. No, I wasn't asking for it because Long uh, Islands. Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't hang over. I, I'm a pro at this shit. When I travel overseas, that's my drink of choice. I don't care about getting stupid. But the Long Island I see. Anyway, so, you know, it's about the stroke of uh, midnight. <laughs> Somebody gave me a crown for the New Year's Eve celebration. It was a girl's fucking crown. You know? uh, so I was like, what the fuck? I didn't put it on okay. all night. But, you know, I'm drinking, and I got it strapped up to the side of my jeans or whatever. And uh, amazing thing, amazing thing. I was like, they they were like, Two minutes to New Year's Eve, and I'm like, two minutes to New Year's Eve. I was like, shit, I gotta find a, you know, like someone, someone to, you know, to like kiss or to be with or whatever. And uh, it's amazing, man. I went through through the crowd, and it was just like a movie, man. Just like a movie. It was uh, coming down to the live wire. I could see it. It was like ten. Nine. And, you know, as they're doing the countdown, I look across the room, man. And just like in the movies, I'm telling you, it's like everybody just parted. There was these two hot Asian girls at the bar just standing there. And I'm like, all right. So I started just like, you know, walking. I kind of beelined it over. And it was like nine, eight, seven, six. You know, I, and I'm walking. And, you know, we meet eyes. And the countdown's going. I grabbed that princess crown and I put it right on her forehead. Mm-hmm. You know, it was like one. Happy New Year. And I got the kiss and everything. From both of them? No, nah, just one. Oh, okay. I, I did choose the hotter of the two, though, and it was amazing. You started talking. So there was a cute one and then an ugly one, or was no, she just was, average looking? The other one was, was average. If it was a threesome deal, I would have took it. So, you know, both fairly attractive, but I went for the cute one. I mean, I, I was on, I had liquid courage, and I was like, that cute one it is, man, and it worked. Were you by yourself? No, I was no, I was with buddies. But oh, okay. I didn't want to be hanging around with these tool bags, because these, these were the kind of tool bags, they're cool cats and everything, uh-huh. but... You know, they're just not, they, they don't go pick up girls. So no game. I was like, they got no, no game. And plus, well, we, we were with girlfriends, you know, so it was, mm. we were with girlfriends. So I was saying, I got to break away from this shit, you know. Mind yeah. you, one of the girls I was, uh, was boning on the side, you know. That night, as a matter of fact, when we got back to his pad. Uh, do I know her? Did I meet her? I don't want to drop a name. Man. You don't have to drop a name, but do, do uh, have I yeah, met her? You, you, I knew her? You, okay. Yeah, you've met her before. Did I used to work with her? Uh, yeah, we worked with her. As okay. a matter of fact, both of us. And anyway, you know, so All right. so even though I didn't pick up these, it was a beautiful thing to kiss a beautiful Taiwanese chick because that's where they were from. You know, I gathered that information. After you with kissed them. her? Yeah, and everything. You know, <laughs> it was funny. I got to know her after. And, you know, they were just, you know, touring and they were going to be gone the next week and whatever. So, you know, there was no That's all that happened there. was a kiss? Or? That's all that happened. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes a kiss is, you know, hotter than fuck. Yeah, it's true. I mean, that was, that's true. That was just, you know, one of, like I said, it was a movie kiss. It was just... The Fucking moment, huh? Amazing. It was just amazing. We had, uh, my wife and I went to San Francisco one year. It was when my daughter was pretty young. She's probably two years old. So we didn't want to take her. So my wife and I went up to San Francisco for New Year's Eve. And we just were bar hopping, going to pub, to bars, to restaurants. We were just hanging out, having a great time. Up in San Francisco? Yeah. Yeah. And so we ended up at this Irish pub. It was like kind of a club on one bo- one floor, then a, a, a bar on the the bottom so floor. The club pub. Yeah, it was cool, the club pub. And so we're hanging out, and then we hear ten, nine, eight. You know, we're doing the countdown, and we make out. It was like one of the most amazing kisses ever. And what year was that? Uh, it had to be three years ago, so three or four years ago. All right. So oh five. 
oh nine five. something like okay. that and we were like oh that was amazing and then next thing you know Someone looks at the clock and they're like, "Oh, it's only eleven forty-five." <laughs> so then the real countdown comes, and we kiss and we both kind of look at each other and I was like, "I think the first kiss was better." Yeah. So, isn't it funny how like there's just those moments, you know, those moments that just uh, that that just define a life, if you want to call it. Like you know, there's like right now we're just sitting here uh, drinking those ekis because we are the most interesting men in the world. I am pretty interesting. Nah, not on the not in the least. Not without Twig here. Nah, Twig wouldn't be the same. So he's, uh, I told him to keep his little bony ass at home. Keep us germ free. That's you know, right. he's just a walking infection. Yeah. No, thank you. I just hope he doesn't fall in the toilet because, <laughs> 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 you know. Yeah, so uh, what'd you get your daughter for, for Christmas, man? You know, I haven't gotten her a gift because uh, I know I know that sounds lame, but, you know, I want to take her out shopping. Uh, as a matter of fact, tomorrow and you know, she can choose whatever she wants at any price That's tag. Cool. I mean, you know, any price tag because b- believe it or not. She's a good girl. She's huh? got uncles. She's got she's got family from my mom's side. She's from what, mom's 17, side. 16? She's 16 going on 17. So she wants a car yeah. probably. Huh? She wants a car. Well, I don't think I'm going to foot that yet. Well, speaking know? of Christmas, belated Christmas gifts, here's my Christmas gift to you. A, oh, yeah, a wine bottle. Italian bottle of wine, 2005, a nice uh, Montepulciano. Vino Man. Noble. So Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Enjoy it with good company or by yourself. It really doesn't fucking matter. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's funny. My mom gave me wine glasses. Everybody's always like there you go. asphyxiated on my uh, yeah my wineism or my being a wino, uh, not a whiner. Well, that's cool because you know what? That just shows you have some interests and people know your interest and it's good because people know – I love wine also. People know I love poker. People know I love uh, oh, fucking yeah. monster. People know I love beer. People know I love all kinds of shit. Yeah, Sports, football, shit. all that shit. So well, I went over to my family's house and guess was waiting for me? A couple monster energy drinks. Oh, that's beautiful. And uh, my uncle got me a beer maker for Christmas, which is pretty uh, sick. Yeah. What the fuck? You're going to do moonshine? <laughs> no, my own beer, beer. shine. Beer shine. <laughs> So that's cool. So people, you know, it's that means I'm interesting. People know what I'm interested in. Yeah. It's hard to shop for somebody that. Yeah, you just never know, know what to get. Them. You don't know what that, their hobbies are or what that's they do. My, that's my parents right there. Uh, as far as the whole poker thing, like that I've been doing for years, I have too many poker chips. Please don't give me any more poker chips. There's only so much shit I could do with poker chips. Yeah, there's a way to overdo it too. Like my mom likes cats. She has two cats, and. Just because she likes cats doesn't mean every Christmas gift or birthday gift has to have, like, a cat on it. Right. Exactly. <laughs> People overdo yeah, shit. Yeah, they overdo the poker thing. You can't do overdo the wine thing because, you know, no. ultimately I'm going to drink that. Exactly. So, you know, it's keep the wine flowing. Send me a barrel if you want. Yeah. I'll give you my address. Or give you, you can send give it to Old cash. Street Studios. <laughs> give you cash for yeah. poker tournaments. But yeah. But well, not poker chips. <laughs> like, my, like I said, my mom got me wine glasses, and that was a great thing. because That's I, a good gift. I've been drinking wine out of a cup because uh, – What? I, I, I don't know. I've been drinking wine so much and so long. And you know I have wine glasses, but – Every every morning that I wake up, you know, like one of them's missing a neck, one of them's in the trash, and I try to recall like what I did. As a matter of fact, one time it was really funny because I put the wine glasses, you know, in, w- where the dishes go and everything. Mm. And you know, I was thinking late night munchies. I decided to eat something, and you know, I'm eating something, and then I throw the fork into the sink, and I hear crack, crack another beautiful chalice. Because I get those wine glasses that are just huge. I like yeah. to like, you know, I like it to I like to pretend it's a big pair of balls or something that I'm hanging. Your on pimp to. goblet. <laughs> the chalice I wish I could I just want to get one like Snoop Dogg with like a diamond in it Some or gold, something gold yeah gold encrusted yeah I mean I break so many wine glasses because you can't throw them in the dishwasher you have to use yeah, you wash them by careful hand in hot water and then it's just a pain in the ass. So I've broken so many yeah. wine glasses. We got some wine glasses. You got to be careful with them. It's because like you know you after two bottles of wine, man, you you need a you need yeah, to just drink it straight just, from the bottle. I was say, just stick with a sippy cup. <laughs> <laughs> or some kind of plastic well, wine glass. You can't spill it or break it. Get some plastic wine glasses from the 99 cent store. That way you don't got to worry. I do like using uh, glass, just regular glasses, like little rocks glasses or something like that. Oh, yeah, that's what I the use. The tall, I have skinny, some, uh, highball glasses. That's kind of cool. I like doing that, too, because that for some reason, the, the long neck of a wine glass and then the heavy top, it... It lends itself to being spilt or knocked right. over or broken. But, They're so fragile. But you know that's like a that's a meter right there to know 
好